Hey everyone, it's Jack from Cultaholic here with the first news piece of the Cultaholic YouTube channel. Um, and, and could it be bigger news really? Uh, some of you may have already seen this on New Japan today. Chris, I'm currently sat actually, uh, explains my weird posture, in Sam's room. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have an office. We don't yet, we don't yet have an office. But yes, as I was saying over in New Japan uh, at Power Struggle, Kenny Omega had just defended his IWGP United States Championship against Trent Beretta in a wonderful match. Uh, and then a mystery opponent was revealed on the big screen for Wrestle Kingdom. He called out Kenny Omega and it was none other than Chris Jericho. What does that mean? That's ridiculous. He's just going back to Japan. I can't he, he's going back like it's 97 again. Yeah. This, is for, this will be Jericho's first match, assuming it goes ahead it, at Wrestle Kingdom on January the 4th, as it is every year. It will be his first match outside of WWE in, since 1999. So that's, that's crazy. It's, it's, it's humongous news. It's kind of like... I'd say that Jericho's the biggest star that New Japan have got in from WWE's direction since Lesnar, probably. And that didn't go very well. Lesnar didn't have the best of time there. I, it was very clear he was going to make money. Yeah. Now, obviously, Jericho's not a, you know, a, a, one of the best workers in the world anymore in ring, but he certainly knows how to put on a good match still. And if anyone can get a fantastic match out of him, it's got to be Kenny Omega. So it looks like the match is happening. We all really hope it does. <clears throat> Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. And also, the last thing I'm going to ask is, Will this signify a new trend in wrestling where, whereby <clears throat> we see a lot of main event kind of big level WWE stars going over to New Japan? Obviously, we've seen a lot of traction in the other direction with the likes of AJ Styles, Shinsuke Nakamura, both members of the club. Um, but now, maybe this could sort of signify a shift in the other direction. Cody Rhodes kind of kicked it off, but he was more on the indie scene in general. Jericho here has made a very pointed kind of career step and one which could hugely benefit New Japan. Uh, if you don't watch New Japan, are you more likely to watch Chris Jericho's match at Wrestle Kingdom, for example? I think a lot of you probably are. But let's, 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 back with a bang. Love it. As I said, let us know all your thoughts in the comments section down below. Uh, and also, please, please, please do check out our Patreon. There are a, a system of tiered rewards if you are so inclined. We'd appreciate any and all donations via that service. Uh, maybe it could help get us an office so I'm not sat on this sofa anymore. But I've been Jack from Cultaholic. Follow me on Twitter, at Jack the Jobber. Follow Sam at Lester Fine. Follow all of us, at Cultaholic. Uh, and there's not much you want to say. Join us. <laughs>